So I promised a friend of mine that I'd send them some videos of uh, exercises for their back pain and I thought I'd record this and share it more widely. So this is for people who've had a recent onset of quite severe back pain and it might involve pain that's also travelling down the leg, there might be some, some nerve involvement. Um, and very often these people may have been told by a medical professional to try to keep moving, but often that's easier said than done because if you're in a lot of pain, um, sometimes you don't want to move because it can be painful. So this is a short sequence of exercises that I often give to some of my patients. And the nice thing about it is that it's very controllable and you can scale it up or down depending on how bad your back pain is on any given day. So I'm going to start on all fours uh, with my back in a nice neutral position, hands under my shoulders, knees under my hips. And I'm just going to start by doing some really gentle forwards and backwards rocking. And the key with all of this is a little bit of discomfort is all right, but you don't want to push into pain. So just take it as far as you can go reasonably comfortably. Like I said, aim for mildly spicy, but not too sharp or too severe. So yeah, you can just gradually start to make the movement a little bit bigger if you can. And then from that, I'll go into Good old cat camel stretch and you may find one of these directions more painful than the other again just go as far as you can reasonably comfortably it's all about the movement even if you have to keep the movement very small to start with it will be helpful to have done it and then the next exercise that i really like is a bird dog progression so i'm just going to start by just taking a leg back so and then coming back. And the idea is I'm keeping my hips nice and level. I want to imagine that I'm balancing a glass of water on my pelvis and I don't want to spill it. And if that's feeling okay, I can start taking the leg a little bit further. And eventually we're aiming to get it into a straight line with the body. Once this starts to feel okay, you can even add the hand in as well. As I say, the idea is to find the level that you're comfortable at without pushing it too far. And the thing with all of these is to do it little and often. You don't want to do loads all at once because that's likely to make things sore. So what I usually suggest is doing a, a set of these maybe three or four times through the day and just taking it to the point where you can feel it working, you can feel the exercise, but again, not so much that it's making it sore or that you're pushing into any pain with it.